Greetings, greetings, grade 12 in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, guys, welcome to this agricultural science. This is a revision session with Mr. Mashika. Uh, I would like us to pick it up from where we left off the last time. We will start from 1.3, one word, the condition where the price of a product is kept constant regardless of the price of production. So guys, we say if the, the price, this side, if the price is constant, it means it's, a, it's fixed, it? It, 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 it doesn't go up and down. But if it does this go up and down, we say the price fluctuates fluctuates it or it's fluctuating so it means the correct answer here is is a fixed 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 price all right a production factor that involves the effective combination uh, production factor we know you have land labor capital and management and then we're looking for the one that uh, is uh, involved effective combination and coordination of all resources. We know this one is a principle of management. And also this one is an extra hint to maximize profit. So we know now that it is money management. Type of mutation where a piece of a chromosome turns over before rejoining the rest of a chromosome. Okay, guys, you need to know the types of uh, chromosomal chromosomal mutation a b c d e all right uh, we say now let's say this piece here this piece here turns over or rotates or changes direction then this is the original chromosome then this is a mutated chromosome to turn over is to make a hundred and eighty degrees a uh, ten. Ne? It's like if you are going south, you turn and 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 go north. It's what it's like when you repent. When you repent, it's when you are doing this, you stop and go the other direction. So in this case, it's A, and then now because it has turned over. So here, D is going to be here, followed by C, then B, and then E. So this is uh, what the chromosome, the piece that turned over. And this is a mutated chromosome, this one, a chromosome. And therefore, uh, it, it, it tells us that um, this is a inre inversion. In re, inversion. All right, guys, just to quickly show you these four types of chromosomal mutation, just to remind you, uh, deletion is when uh, you see there's a part that is lost. In this case, it is B. So the mutated gene doesn't have B. We call it deletion. Here, a mutated uh, cro uh, chromosome has got two Bs instead of one so it means an extra copy has been made or duplicated and we call it duplication here is the one that we did uh, was being asked you can see here that uh, the, the bc has changed directions now b is in a place of b in a place of c and c has taken a place of b so there's been an inversion so here translocation you can see that there's a chromosome that comes from outside there is a chromo g h g h i ne? so this part here g h has moved has cut itself from another chromosome and went to attach itself to another chromosome and we call it translocation because trans means across so it leaves and goes across and crosses over to another chromosome Hence, the mutated chromosome 9 has got A, B, then you have G, H, C, and all that. All right, guys, so you must know all these uh, types of uh, chromosomal mutation. Uh, we continue the type of inheritance. So we know the types of inheritance. Ne? 
but we're looking for the one where two or more genes have an influence on a single phenotype, on, on one phenotype. Many genes have an influence on one pheno phenotype. So uh, it's self-explanatory. We call it poly. It's a polygenic inheritance. Inheritance. Okay. Poly means many genes. Ne? Hence, sometimes they call it a multi-gene, a multi-gene in inheritance inheritance and because these uh, examples of these po the polygenic inheritance all of them you find that they can be it is uh, they are quantifiable or can be counted we call them quantitative quantitative ne? because all of them have got quantitative characteristics e.g. height Yes, you can count your height. This one weighs uh, 15, sorry, 1,8 meters. This one, 1,7. This one, one go, you see, ne? And another one, weight, even weight. It's a, it's a polygenic inheritance. It's a quantitative. Uh, it's an example of that. And even skin color. Skin color. In this case, guys, Yes, if it says just a question of brown, of you crossing, it's brown like in Mendel's case, whereby it's just brown or, or then it, it's, a, it's monogenic. But in this case, where you see that even in your house, you are having different skin pigmentation or skin colors. You see that some are more darker, some are more, uh, are more, lighter even in your class so it means skin color is also a polygenic inheritance milk production milk production for instance in this case if we can uh, make an example of in milk production and say uh, let's say uh, this uh, gene uh, contributes 10 liters we have, let's say, there's about uh, four, uh, four genes that contribute to milk production. B contributes, uh, uh, let's say, um, okay, let's say all of them contribute 10, ne? all of them. And we have about five genes that each contribute 10 liters of milk. Yeah. And we know that um, these e genes they are available in 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 two in pairs, ne? like alleles. So it means you have A A B B C C D D E E. So how much milk will you have? It means you'll have twenty, forty, sixty, eight, hundred because. A, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So you will have 100 liters. But we say here, with polygenic inheritance, we say each dominant gene, each dominant gene has an additive, additive effect. Each dominant gene has an additive effect. So it's an advantage to get a dominant gene when you're crossing two animals because each gene, a dominant gene, will come and, and, and add to, to this hundred. For instance, if you have another cross and you get this kind of a genotype, A, A, let's say B, B, Okay, let's leave C, D, and E like this. So how much milk will you have? So um, we must indicate that, let's say, for example, each dominant gene, a dominant gene, I hope you understand. You will be told this in, in, in a test. Each dominant gene adds, let's say, um, uh, 
20 liters. Each dominant gene adds 20 liters. So in this case, it means you'll have uh, your 100 plus how many dominant genes? Two. So it will be 20, 40. So it will be 100 plus 40. Then you have 140 liters. If you get a very good cross and you get something like this, you see almost all of them. Uh, D, D, let's leave just E. So how, how much milk you will have? Is you still have your 100, ne? but now each dominant gene, so it means you will have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160. So you'll, you see the, the, how much milk increase you will have. So you will have 200 and 60 liters because we're saying when you're talking polygenes each dominant allele not dominant gene sorry each dominant allele remember these are allele this is a gene this is a homozygous gene this part is from a mother and this one from a father so this whole is a gene but alleles this one is an allele so each dominant allele has an additive effect of 20 liters. Hence, we say uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 dominant alleles. So 8 times 20, it's 160 to give you 20 liters. So I hope you understand. These are just examples, guys, of, poly, po, of, of uh, po, polygenic inheritance. Ne? Uh, even... Uh, all right, let us continue. I hope you understand now this polygenic inheritance. Let's move on. Crossing offline bred from animals with one another of unrelated breed. So here, um, uh, here, guys, you have this. Uh, we have cross breeding, and we have out crossing. Out crossing you cross breeding of course it's when you cross a, 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 another breed with another uh, with a different breed like a dorset horn dorset horn with a with a with a white merino then you get what uh, you get a doma okay okay Right, so this is crossbreeding. It's two different breeds. You're crossing a, a, a breed with another breed, but outcrossing is when you cross a merino with another merino, and you get a merino because it's the same breed, but they are unrelated. So the reason why we say crossbreeding, both out crossbreeding and outcrossing are correct, is because the examiner doesn't specify whether. It's a different, you're crossing different breeds or you're crossing same breeds, like in the case of, of, of crossing. All right, we'll continue next time, guys. Thank you.